Welcome back to the July version of Maker's Creative Collab that is put together by PM Artist Studio, where a bunch of creatives get together on a monthly basis and interpret a theme that is given to us by Patricia and Mariah. This month, the theme was patterns of play. To me, a pattern, when I think about that and wanted to interpret that, I thought of that repeating element in artwork. And it's going to be interesting to see what all the other creatives come up with in their pieces. So just a few tips on how to enjoy this collab. Follow the link on each video at the end screen to enjoy the next creative in line. The links are also in the description of each video. And of course, we all appreciate those thumbs up and would love for you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can catch us when we upload additional content or the August Makers Creative Collab. In this video, you're watching me, Two Old Crows Mixed Media. And I am pleased to have you here, and let me share with you what I did. I chose to create a repeating pattern and made these two books. So to get started, I drew this simple leaf pattern, and I wanted it to repeat. So I wanted to be able to place it side by side, top to bottom, and be able to have that as a repeating pattern. So I folded it first in half and drew across the fold, folded it in half again the other way, and drew once again across the fold, and of course flipped it over and drew in the center to connect everything together. Once I had that piece completed, I took it to my copy machine, I scanned it in, and I put it side by side. So you can see that that pattern repeats itself, and I used it to create the cover of the book. And here's just a remnant of that scan, and I just placed each of those pieces side by side to get one big sheet of that repeating pattern. So I hope that makes sense in the way I created that repeating pattern. Once I had that done, I utilized it to create my book cover. I did another repeating pattern to do the spine and the fold over, and that is just simply scored lines very close together, like a quarter of an inch apart. So it creates this pinstripe pattern down along the side of the book. I made a magnetic closure, and you know, to be a little cheesy, I went ahead and pulled out a sewing pattern and covered the inside flap with that. I used that pinstripe pattern once again here on the inside front cover to create a pocket, and I have very simple plain white signatures in, and this will be a writing journal. The belly band on the back cover is also that pinstripe pattern in back, black. Now, I had some more of those skeleton leaves that were given to me by Texture Junkies, and I used those on the front cover as well. And I couldn't stop, so I created yet another. And on this one, I used circles, and I just repeated a cir circular pattern on my gel press. I used the circular button, and once again, I really like the pinstripe, so I gel press printed a piece of paper in this um, color to match and did the pinstripe for the front and back. I also decided to incorporate just this um, weaving, which creates yet another pattern in and of itself, and I did the gel press prints woven there. Once again, the solid white signatures and circles just randomly dropped onto the back inside cover. And there you have again the sewing pattern.
covering that um, flap and I did the magnetic closure. So that is my version of Patterns at Play. The repeating pattern created with the folds, folding it in half, drawing across, folding it again, drawing across, and drawing, of course, first in that center. And that is how you create that surface design, if you will, or that uh, repeating pattern. So I'm going to share with you just some close-ups of, of this project. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will stick around and watch all of the other creatives and what they did. I have found this collab to be very, very good with the projects that are created and I am hopeful that you will <clears throat> enjoy as well. And once again, my name is Peg. My channel is 2 Crows Mix Media. You'll catch all of the other creatives in the description below. You will be able to catch the next person in line by following the link on my end screen. Once again, thank you for being here. And we will see you next month.